What is happening? We are back. Another episode of the Rome and Duddy Show. Episode Hello. 13, Ro. Yeah, baby. Ro. Hello, everybody. How's it going? I called you Ro. You did? Nah, it sounded like Rome. See, that's the thing. Just like that, Rome. You just say it like that. Okay. Or call me like Matty O calls, calls me. He, he, he calls me Romulus. Still. Yeah, dude. I, Every single I, time. I still call you. I, I have you saved in my phone as Romulus. That's crazy. And that's because I think I've told you this story before. I know I've told this story, I think, on Feeling Good with Duddy. But if not, I'm going to tell you a quick little story. Let's hear it. Now that we're talking about why we call you Romulus. I want to hear it. Jason Ellis, we we used to, you know, on tour when we were in the van days, we would listen to the Jason Ellis show sometimes when we were driving. And uh, he had this one segment. It was the funniest segment ever. And you can't have a segment like this anymore, I don't think. I think people would get mad. But it was called uh, Gay or Not Gay. That for sure would not exist today. Yeah. (laughs) That would not exist. People would call in and they would tell him a story like, hey, this happened to me. Is that gay or not gay? This is where you got my name? This is where I got your name. So this one guy calls in, right? Hold on. (laughs) Sorry, I had to take a sip of coffee. But this one guy calls in. He was like this, this, uh, you know, Indian dude. And he's like, you know, I was on, we're on my uncle's reservation. And, uh, you know, we're getting all whiskey drunk in his sweat lodge. Me and my friend Romulus. And uh, I, you know, I go outside. And I swear to God, he goes, and I step outside to ha- like smoke a grit and I come back in and my buddy Romulus is passed out in his chair and he's got his buck snot all over his stomach. That's fucking disgusting. And then, you know, Jason's like, what? You know, like his buck snot? He's like, yeah, like when I was outside, he jerked off and he finished and then he, he passed out in his chair, you know, like, oh, is that, is that oh. gay or not gay, you know? And, you know, Jason also, he breaks it down. He's like, well, you know, it's weird that, you know, you were there, but you did step outside. Like, technically he's alone. You know, you guys were drinking. He passed like, not gay, you know? Yeah, it's so funny. Green light a on great, that. Dude, great that's segment, gnarly. But... I don't think I ever want to hear that. Bucks. That's like, why I call you yeah. Romulus wow. to this day. I'm gonna retire that name and just just go by George or something. Just abandon that. <laughs> Burn it down. All right, that was a great intro to the show. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Now we got a fun show for you guys today. We've got. Um, we're going to announce the winner of last week's T Gat. The yes, great we American are, baby. talent show. Yes, we are. If you are listening and you don't know what that is, we do a talent show on this podcast where you guys, the listeners, you send in your submissions, your talents, whatever it is, uh, to the Roman Duddy Show at gmail.com. Yeah, we get mostly music, but if you're a dancer, if you're a skateboarder, if you're a juggler, if you do magic, whatever, Bro. send it in. Last week we had an in, 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 guy did impersonations and, and he actually made it to the finals. That clip that we cut up of the producer clip I got so oh, much yeah. shit for that man all of my friends texted me like bro hey am I that guy who makes the shitty music like oh! it, dude it was so bad it was so bad I got DM literally I, I'm not I'm not even exaggerating probably like 10 friends DM me like ha 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 hilarious yo is that me like it was all like the same <laughs> message that's so good it was hilarious <laughs> No, yes, no. Um, uh, but dude, um, that last clip that we put up, we got flooded with submissions from nice. people like submitting their demos. And so, yeah, we got a lot of music. We're gonna we have a lot of music to sift through. Um, so we got some fun episodes coming. But up yeah, for dude, sure. like like Duddy was saying, send in your submissions to the Roman Duddy Show at gmail.com. Make sure you head over to our Facebook group, the Roman Duddy Show. Um, and I noticed on our Spotify, they've been giving us stars and good reviews Aww. on the podcast and it shows on the front. Yeah, notice and that's a new, that's new that's on a Spotify, new feature. Right? I've never seen that before and it's awesome. We already have like, you know, like 50 of them on there. So it's really nice. rad. Like, please, you guys keep, keep throwing the stars and leaving a review and subscribing because it, it definitely helps. Um, and you know what I'd like you guys to start doing? Like when you're at work, just grab your employees' phones off their desk, open them up. Go over to the Apple Music, hit that five star, go to Spotify, hit those likes, leave reviews. They, they walk away from, you know, they go to the bathroom, their phone's sitting there. Take their phone. 
Prank call the police. Just do that. Look call a mom their friend. Photos. Don't don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You That's have to be careful. Man. Yeah, dude. Oh, people man. are crazy. You say something online, no. people do crazy things. The Roman Doty show, they're gonna have a bomb. They said to, you know, call in a bomb threat, so we did it. <laughs> Um, we are going to announce the winner, though, of last week's TGAT. Yes, we That are. is going to be fun. Uh, we also have a new segment we're going to do today, which is going to be, I think, my new favorite segment, and it's going to be called Beat of the Week. Yes, we... And that is we... <sighs> That's the best. We are going to play a beat, and we're going to put this beat out for you guys yep. to be able to download for free. It's copyright so everybody, free. It's copyright free. Everyone can just download it for free. And what we want you to do is write something to it. If it's a rap, if you sing sing to it, it doesn't have to be a whole song. Give us no. eight, 16 bars, whatever. Give us just whatever. Or if you write a whole song, sweet, but you don't do need your best. to. Do, just give us a little rap. Give us a little chorus. Sing something. Make something up and send it to us. And we are going to pick our favorite ones. And just gonna like so good, we do. Dude. It's going to be so fun. Uh, just like we do the poll. The poll for the the Great American Talent Show. We're yep. gonna put up our favorite like four or five submissions from Beat of the Week every week, and we're gonna let you guys vote on who came up with the dopest shit. Yep, yep, and it'll be awesome. Um, and just so you guys know, these tracks will be coming out every week, and uh, they are not made by Duddy or myself, so you cannot go online and say that it's featuring Rome or Duddy, um, <laughs> because we have a uh, handful of people who are submitting tracks to us. But that being said, if you would like to be one of the producers um, to make some of these Beat of the Weeks, we will gladly shout you out, and um, if your songs are great, you know we'll put them on the show for the Beat of the Week. Just make sure you send your submissions to the Rome and Duddy Show at Gmail, and um, yeah, we'll... We'll take the best stuff. So, yep. I am so freaking excited for think, Beat of the Week. I, I cannot good wait shit, man. to hear what you guys send in. Yeah. And uh, I think it's going to be freaking amazing. That's going to be uh, amazing. But, you guys, before we get into anything, I have an update on Orange Ball Guy. Oh, no. He wouldn't tell me. This, so this is news to me, too. This shit is wild, guys. This shit is wild. So if you don't know who Orange Ball Guy get. Did I say ball gag? Uh, <laughs> if you don't know who Orange Ball Guy is, I'm going to give you like a very quick rundown. The quick rundown. I'm sitting in my den. My backyard is, you know, right outside the den. I'm hanging out. I hear banging. I hear banging. Um, I don't know where it's coming from. And then I look in my backyard. There is a gate that I can go out into. A, there's a park on the other side of my backyard. I have a gate in my backyard that I can just go into the park. I start to realize that someone's banging on my gate in my backyard. I'm like, that's odd. No one has ever done that ever. So I go over there and I like stand up on this thing so I can look over the fence and I see a guy and he's kind of walking away. I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, oh, sorry, I threw my ball in your backyard. It's an orange ball. I look, there's a Weird. orange ball in my pool. I'm like, okay, whatever. That shit happens. Um, I throw the ball over. He's like, thanks. I'm like, peace. Whatever. Shouldn't happen. No big deal. Three days later, I hear my wife in the kitchen. She's talking to someone through the window. Now, uh, the orange ball guy is in my front yard. He's set, telling my wife he threw the ball over the fence again. And we tell him, sorry, we, we can't find your ball. We looked, couldn't find the ball. We tell him that he doesn't leave. Then he asks my wife if he can come in the backyard and look himself. I tell him, beat it. Absolutely not, right? That's weird. That's already weird. And then third time, my I'm in my uh, I'm in my room. I hear my pool guy, who's my buddy. He's talking to someone in my backyard, and I hear him say, "Sorry, I don't see any orange ball." And I'm no. like, "You got to be kidding me! You got to be kidding me!" So I run out there and I <laughs> jump up. I'm like, "Dude." What beat it like i'm over like nicely like i wasn't super mean because like there's a, there's kids it's a park there's i don't yeah. you know i wasn't like fuck you i was like hey bud enough's enough you know leave me leave my backyard alone there's no ball just and if you throw your ball in my backyard again i just got a new ball i'm over you you know um so you a fair shot now you're all caught up now you're all caught up and this is what just happens okay so i have a dog he's back there playing catch with the ball with his dog right but it's like Dude, move away from the fence a little bit more. There's a huge-ass park. Why are you right up against my fence? 
throwing the ball. Like, just move. That's my thing. That's my happen. thing. That's Why is what, he up against thing, your right? shit? I don't understand. Bro. So here's, bro, you're going to, you're going to fucking die. So I have a dog and he's out there playing with his little tiny weird dog. And, uh, I'm in the jacuzzi and my, there's coyotes that come around that park at night. So we try, we make sure our cats are in around five and we don't let them back out because cats get eaten by coyotes all the time. So, uh, my, one of my little cat like jumped over into the park. So my son's like, Hey, I'm going to go get the cat and bring her in. It's getting late. I'm like, sweet. So he goes out that gate to get the cat and my dog's sitting there with me and my dog is very territorial when it comes to other dogs around my kids, you know, like, and it gets very defensive and like, it doesn't like it. It's attacked the dog before and like, not bad, like n- never like super hurt a dog, uh, but it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't like it. So my son's coming back in the gate and that other guy's throwing the ball over there. So that dog runs right by Jack. No. And my dog just goes wham out the gate and I just hear Burr! and I no. get out as fast. Yeah. And I, I run out and I we stop it before anything happens. There was nothing wrong with the dog, but my dog definitely like tackled it. They rolled, you know, a whole thing. We broke it up. It's orange ball guy's dog and it's orange ball. I look, there's an orange ball sitting right next to the dogs. I'm like, no way this is happening. Orange ball guy comes running up. He's bawling. Oh, my princess. I'm not kidding you. He said princess. Oh, my little princess. Oh, my little princess. Oh, dude, like, you know, and I was like, at this point, it was already like no big deal. Like my my wife had already gotten our dog, and like there there was nothing wrong with his dog. Like they didn't even really fight. It was just a stupid little burr, and that was it. You know, my dog was pretty much saying like, "Yo, beat it," um, and uh, and he's bawling, and he's like. <laughs> Why did, they, why, why did your dog? I was like, sorry, man. I was like, my dog's weird with other dogs are like around my kid. And it just was the worst timing. He's coming in the gate. Your dog ran right by my dog. Saw it. Didn't like it. I was like, but, you know, I was like, I'm super sorry. You know, like my bad. He's bawling. And like, he's like, no, I, I appreciate it. You, 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 you saved my dog. Like you stopped it before anything happened. Like, I appreciate it. But he was all shook up. He was talking like this and he was crying. And his whole face was covered in sunscreen, but like not rubbed in. It was all white. It was so weird, dude. Oh. Man. Weird you know what dude. you should have did? You should have popped his ball and said, "Get the f- out of here, man." No, I felt because I felt I bad because he was like all in shambles. He and, like, buzzed and his, and his dog was totally me. fine. His dog was like walking he away. Needs to like, go, and man. He happened. needs to find like, a new park or something. But I was thought it was annoying. hilarious that my dog beat his dog up. I was like, kind of like, you know what? Maybe That's find somewhere else to play. Yeah, maybe. Maybe find somewhere sign. else to play ball. Like, That's all I'm saying. That's uh, all I'm saying. You man, know, I'm not like my dog shouldn't have ran out there and did that. Like, I'm not trying to say anything. I don't condone that shit. But your dog was just protecting Jack. He's just doing yeah, what animals yeah. do. That's what dogs know? do. That's, that's what, what dogs dog, do. You know? that, that, yeah, that's what you want them to do. It's unfortunate. Actually, it's not unfortunate. It was ball guy. And did he remember you? He had to have understood yeah, what was happening. He had to remember you. He was just. He like, knows that gate. And yeah, I came running he sees out. You. Of it. And we have you talked know. before. You know. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. S- a couple times. Nah, he knows you are. But I, when I realized, because at first I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I just, I knew it was a dog, and I knew my, I saw my dog run out, and I was like, shit, you know. So I got to get out there, and I, you know, we broke it up in two seconds, and I, and then, then I started to realize, I'm like, oh my god, there's an orange ball right there. I look up, it's blue hoodie coming at me just like he always is wearing the blue hoodie, and I'm like, oh my god, this is orange fucking ball guy, and his dog. <laughs> this is hilarious, this dude. Fucking, he'll be back. And I just, I, sure I told you, you I was in the fuck, I was in the jacuzzi. I'm in the jacuzzi, so I fucking sprint out in my just board shorts. <laughs> just like fucking. Well, oh, yeah, you gotta get your dog. I mean, you don't know if he's gonna ball somebody. Just like, or not. what is happening? Oh, it was pretty funny. It was pretty wild. I'm glad no one got hurt. Ultimately, no one got hurt. But he's I couldn't believe how shook up he was. He was like bawling. He was. How bawling. old is this dude? Like, how old is this dude, guy? He's like. He looks like he's probably like fifty, you know. Uh, um, he's living for the ball for the dog and the ball. That's he kept saying, "My princess, my princess." Like I was oh, just like, bro, "Jesus, you dude, go. you are you need to get a girlfriend." Is what you, you would have wrecked him if you would have popped that ball, wrecked him. Oh, no. <laughs> 
No, but I was glad his dog was totally fine. Like nothing happened. It was, it was nothing, but it was, it was a wild ending to the orange ball saga. <laughs> it was a twist. I didn't know that. That was, you know, I didn't expect that. The end. <laughs> oh, the dog spot. Oh, I you thought know, the guys were going to fight. Damn well, that spot? shit's not. We're not making this up, folks. I, I, I know no. it sounds ridiculous, but we're, we're not making this shit up. <laughs> I have a strong feeling that he somehow will be back on the show. You know what? I think we should have him on the show. Tell his side of the story. I was his the side of the story. In the park, in the ball. In the... It's like some action film, you know? Yeah. <laughs> one man, one dog, one orange ball. <laughs> one princess. <laughs> All right. Dude, Rome. What? Let's tell him about this little... Uh, awesome situation we got going on March 1st. Yeah, man. We get to finally announce this formally now that we got a date and everything. That's right, folks. We are very, very, very excited to announce that we are launching our first product ever in the CBD and cannabis space together, Roman Duddy. Um, Dude, we are formalizing our first ever company. It's called Good Times. And the first thing we are dropping is this awesome collector's box um only 150 made and it's going to I believe, be everywhere what i actually believe it's only 125 oh even better Dude, it's very that. limited edition very very limited edition the guys we're not saying like oh we're gonna make a thousand we're gonna give them all out to our homies and keep nah. some and blah 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 and sell 125 we are only making 125 of these yep they're yep, very yep. very limited I mean, it's, it's like loaded with stuff in a fully branded box, autographed. It's, I mean, yeah, dude, it's it's awesome. And I think you guys are going to really, really love it. The quality of everything is just top tier. And we've been kind of going back. I mean, we've been putting this together since summer, bro. We since, have. We've been going back tour. and forth. Yeah, we teamed up. You know, as you guys know, we, we're, we're working with Consequence now. And we teamed up with them to make this awesome product. And uh We've been going back and forth with them for months on just trying to get this right. This wasn't even the first design that we came up with. This was like the third or fourth. Like this wasn't, we kept different products. What are we going to put in here? Testing different situations. And this is, we, we really are stoked on what we got here. And I think you guys are going to love it. And March 1st, we are going to launch the pre-sale. And I I think they're... They're going to be up March 1st for pre-sale, and they're going to be sold That's out. going to sell out for sure. It's 100% going it's to be a sold out piece. very quick. Yeah. It's a collector's piece. The box that it comes in, you're going to want to keep. Me and Rome are going to personally autograph every single one of them. And uh, like we said before, it's only 125 of them. And once they're gone, they're gone. We're never making these again. And uh, yeah, a grinder, a dad hat, four awesome pins. Yep. Four of them. There's four pins in There's there. Duddy's uh, face and my face. <laughs> so you there can is choose. two yeah, of them are one favorite. of them is yeah they're that's, fucking they're fucking hilarious favorite. yeah and then there's a handful of awesome stickers and uh it's just going to be super cool so we will definitely give you guys more info as it gets closer to march 1st on where to exactly go and for this pre-sale and whatnot and we'll have some links you know in the description of the podcast and all over our social medias and whatnot but just letting you guys know giving you guys you guys are the first ones to hear this yeah so you're getting that heads up and in uh, true and in, and in true fashion, like when we kind of formalized like this this project, Roman Duddy, um, it was kind of like our way of going. Okay, let's try to like with these projects do things because it's just the both of us, just me and you. We're able to really take our time with shit yeah. and do things right. Like with our bands, it can get kind of stressful because we know we have like summer tours and we have like album cycles that like, you know, a bunch of people are working on like all of our bandmates, huge teams, record labels, you know, agencies, the whole works. And, um, you know, it moves at such a, a faster pace, but with things like this, like with the album, like we've been working on this since 2020 and we're yeah. just going into the studio and it isn't like we just got together one week and put together songs. It's like, no, daddy has been coming out to Nashville for the last two years, multiple times writing songs. Some songs worked, some songs didn't. It's okay. Back yep. to the thing, listening, mm, a little closer to the direction. Let's keep going. And it's the yep. same thing with the, like with, with this new venture, with good times healthcare and our products coming out with like consequence and everything. It's like, 
We're really just taking our time and going in on everything from the way it looks yep. to, to the way it feels to, to everything. So, yep. um, yeah, I, I just want you guys to know, like, it takes a long time for this stuff to come out. And um, the reason why is because we just want to make sure that you guys are getting, like, the best shit that it can be. We don't Aww. want you to feel like we're throwing together stuff and trying to sell it to you guys. Like, we're really putting our whole hearts into this stuff. So, yeah, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna love this. I can't wait to drop this. I can't wait for people, and I can't wait for the 125 people. It's that's so. It's that is not a lot. I know that's like people. limited as hell. Yeah. So I can't wait for people though to get this, and then like I just want to hear what people say and post about it because this is you're, you're getting an eighth of flour in this box, but this is just CBD. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, this is there's no THC in this, and this is so we can ship it out everywhere. But you, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. I, I've been every morning I hit this because I'm getting older. I can't just wake up and blast off like I used to, you know. And, no. um, so I you have a kid to school. Yeah, I have a couple <laughs> little rips of this, like with my coffee. And honestly, it tastes amazing. Yep. Uh, and it really do. I'm just like, oh, nice. I feel like good. I'm ready to start the day. And then and then later I get super high, but not right in the morning. You know what I mean? So I'm excited for people to try this. And uh, we're grown ups now. Yeah. We are. We're grown ups. <laughs> we're grown we did ups it. We made it. We made it to grown ups. Hell yeah. Okay. Should well, we? Uh, that's enough of that. Is let's it get into beat. I get so excited. <laughs> I, I want to get into beat of the week, but uh, let's answer like a one or two Q and A's really quick sure. first. Absol absolutely. What we got? Yeah. What we got? You guys, if you want a chance to ask me and Rome Q and A questions on the show and also vote for the winners of the uh you know the talent shows and now the winners of the beat of the week that we're going to do today go to our facebook group the roman duddy show on facebook and that's where all the fun happens the, all the voting everyone there is talking about the show and the bands and whatnot so go over there and hang out we would love to see you over there um we, we got a good question submit over here from silly putty 76 it What's it say? A, it's what is something that people say to you that is supposed to be a compliment but is actually insulting? I think that's Ooh, pretty good. That's good. And I have one off top, and, and I'll go slow so you can kind of think about yours. But okay. mine is um I dude, I've got this my whole entire life. People have always been like, Do I know? And this is before I was obviously playing with Sublime. Like, and even especially now, but people are like, do I know you from somewhere? And I'm like, I, I, I don't know, probably like, do you know Jeremy? I'm like, no. And, and they'll be like, God, you just look so familiar. Like, I mean, you you just look like somebody that I've seen before, you know? And in my mind, yeah. I'm like, what? It's just some like common looking mother. I mean, thank you. <laughs> you know, like the, the validation is there. Like, oh, I'm approachable. Yeah. Like, you know, he's probably like my friend or something. But, I'm like, what about just some like basic looking motherfucker, you know? Just, yeah. just average like big Mexican guy in the book, just right there, you know? Like, come big on. Big Mexican guy. <laughs> are you Roberto? Uh, is do, do you are Roberto? Oh no, those are my neighbors when I first moved into town. They all thought <laughs> that I was like the guy, you know, like the worker, you know. Like, oh. hey, when you're done over here, do you think you can help me jumpstart the car? I'm like, well, yes, but I'm your neighbor. Hi, bro. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, um, I I don't really I can't think of one. I want to because it's an awesome question. It's 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 a specific one. You know what I mean? I like want a, to think of a good one, but I, you know what? I it came to my head though, and I don't know. This isn't like not oh, a compliment, but you're always like you're always just like what? you'll see someone that you know, and they know you. In like in from your hometown or whatever, yeah. and you maybe haven't seen them for 10 years, but they're still in the realm of things where you know they know what's going on. And yeah. you'll see them, they'll you'll see them and they'll be like, Oh, you, you still doing that music thing? And you're just but like people are not hitting you with you still doing that music thing. Oh, you live at Honey Six Beach, bro. Come on. You still Everybody doing knows you're a rock star. You the band, and you're just like, What? Yeah. Uh Oh, you see all those people on the internet going like this, motherfucker? Yeah, I'm in a band. <laughs> Yo, dude, okay, how, how about this one? All right, and this this is a per perfect one to send off because I know you got this shit too. Okay. It's just bittersweet. It's it, it's just a small, small sting. 
a bunch of goodness, but just a small sting. When you uh, when when you meet a fan or you read a, a comment or something, and someone's like, "Dude." So good, they're still playing. I love these guys. I used to listen to them when I was in like elementary school. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, fuck, I have to do this for 13 years in your case Damn. any longer. You, yeah. you know, and it's kind of like, thanks for being such a fan. Damn, yeah. I'm old, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's that's another one of those kind of double edged swords. Yeah. Or you'll get like, you know, now it's funny too, because like you'll get the and obviously TikTok helped with it, helped us get a little bit younger of a crowd, but like you'll get like the teenager who's like, Oh, my parents love you guys. Oh, dude, totally. And they're like, Oh right out the game. And you know, he's like, I fucking hate you guys. I listen yeah. to Travis Scott, but you know? <laughs> dude, totally, totally. Yo, can I grab a picture with you? My fucking brother's gonna lose his mind. I yeah, don't know who the fuck you are, but <laughs> that's oh. another good one too, when it's like uh you know, you'll see, you'll, you'll be out like not at a show or something and, and someone will see like, Oh my God, daddy, I love your bank. Can I get a picture with you? You know? And like, and they'll be with someone like, dude, come in and get a picture with me. And the guy will be like, nah, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. They're like, who the fuck is that? And you're like, I, I respect what? that. I <laughs> totally. respect the fuck out of that, dude. <laughs> one time we were in line at McDonald's, uh, or no, sorry. One time we were at LAX and we were in the food court and there was like all these different things. And, I was like kind of thinking, I'm like, oh, what am I going to order, you know? And then I was with LD, our our DJ, and dude, in line at McDonald's was Nas. Nas and his security guard. Damn. I'm like, oh, shit. There's my moment, dude. I just want to go up to him, like give him dabs and just tell him how much of a fan. I don't even need like a picture or nothing. I don't even need all that, you know? Yeah. And I was just like way too nervous. And I was like, dude, are you going to... Oh? And I just, but before I could even say anything, Elle's already walking over, and he like daps him up and tells him he's a huge fan, and then he comes back and was like, damn, bro, I always wanted to meet him, and I'm like, loser. And you, to, to, to this you can't day, go now. To this day, no, I'm, I'm late. And to this day, I'm just like, fuck, I should have went with LD and just fucking say what up. Yeah. <laughs> Strike while the iron's that hot, folks. Funny. Strike while the iron's hot. All right, what's the next um, one? Let's, let's do one more. Here. And then let's announce the beat of the week. Uh, let's play that. Mod, Madre, Ar, Madre Art? Oh, Madre Art, yeah. Madre Art uh, says, what is your favorite drink of all time and why? Well, if it's if you're not talking booze. Then she's talking booze. Or maybe it's water. just drink. I, love, I mean, like, yeah, like, I don't drink sodas and shit. Like, just give me some cold ass water. Uh, if I'm hot, actually, it doesn't even need what to be cold, best? but like, there's just water. I love it. But if we're talking like my favorite cocktail, a Manhattan. I that is his favorite. Love I can a attest. Manhattan. Yeah. He makes a good one, too. I make a decent Manhattan. Um, I, I just like him. I don't know why, because there's not a lot to it. It's pretty much just whiskey, but it just, it just goes else? down like, so. It, well, what? it's whiskey. It's yeah. a little bit of sweet red vermouth, Aww. and um, and then uh, a, like a little bitter, like a drop of bitters. And what then is what I like, it's just kind. of, I don't know exactly what, what is, is in bitters, vermouth? but it's like uh, oh. it is like all bars have it. It's Fortified wine. That's what bitters is. No, that's what vermouth is. And bitters oh yeah, yeah, um, is a botanical matter. That's what it says. Yeah. Bitter so they did a couple like, one or two flavor. drops. I don't like a bunch of the bitters, to be honest. Like I don't, and I don't like a bunch of the vermouth either. But just a little bit of each of those. But what I like to do is a little orange peel in there, just a little ooh. orange peel, and, ooh, and it sets it off. I'm a big uh, fan of just off. orange accents like that. Yeah, and then really they drop one of those. Um, Maraschino cherries that's how you yeah. say it right uh -huh. yeah. they chop one of those bitches in there but not like the candy red ass ones like a like the real, the real ones one like the black, dark ones you know yeah yeah. you know Put what they say in there. the dark of the cherry that's a good ass drink right there sweet of the juice but the thing with the Manhattan is I will I will not order them certain places or when I see like a certain bartender like I'm just like you can just ah, tell huh you know it's gonna be ass making some person there's you no can way, just look at you know? him is it is now is that stereotyping somebody 
Yes, 100%. <laughs> You're just looking at something like, nah, this one sucks. Nah. That He's person, I'm like, give me a, give me a vodka soda. When I get straight up. Oh, you're not going to fuck that up. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Mine. Um, um well, uh, uh, just yeah. Water. And then, um, you know, I, I really like IPA, like brews, like IPA yeah, beers like are those. so good, man. They're so delicious. Like, especially after I kind of laid off the whiskey, I was like, well, what am I going to kind of substitute that, you know, still just tastes really good. And because um, I used to really love like just whiskey and the different assortments of whiskey, like you know, it's so good. Yeah. Um, but you know, I I just drink a little bit of that and I just keep fucking drinking it and drinking yeah. it and drinking it. Oh, like, the Manhattan's is like that's a special night. It's a special night. You know what I mean? I'm not like, having Manhattan's I'm down. You know, like on a Tuesday with the with the family. You can. You just can. <laughs> you just so can. and and that's whiskey in general. I feel like for me, 100%. you know, whiskey is like yeah. it's such a fun alcohol for me. Like I don't drink whiskey and like get all like relaxed. Like I get amped up and excited and I want to drink more yes. and I want to hang out more and talk Stay all night. All night. And, yeah, yeah, dude, totally. Get into trouble, you know. Like that's that's yeah. what whiskey's fun for me, you know. So, um, but yeah, like good IPA. Oh. Maybe some orange juice. Well, should we get into this beat of the week? Let's do the beat of the week. Let's remind Dude. everybody what this is. We will be picking one beat every episode and playing or every every week and um giving it to you guys. You can download it in the Facebook group. And um we want to hear what you guys do to it. Sing, rap. Whatever you can, send it into us. Send it back over to our email, and we'll check it out. What's that email room? The Roman Daddy Show at gmail.com. Boom. I say that. Oh so the my algorithm. god! I am so excited for this. I know. It's Let's give them good. a little taste of the beat. Give them a okay. little taste of the beat, and then you guys ready? Um, and then again, we are gonna put this on our Facebook group, the Roman yep. Daddy Show at Facebook. Go there, download this. Write something to it. Send it to the Roman Daddy Show at gmail.com. Go. Yep. This beat of the week was brought to you by our good friend Dark Stranger58. Here it goes. Send. Like honestly, I am so freaking excited about this. This is gonna be so much fun. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> Speaking of fun, we had a fun contest last week. Yes, we Good did. Old my the, Good the old T Gats, the Great American T-Gats. Talent Show, dude. Thank you guys so much for making this thing actually like uh, it's 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 becoming more and more successful. Like you guys are bringing in so many more of your friends and getting the submissions in, and yeah, just. Thank you guys so much. It's it's a lot of fun for us to do it. Like we kind of fathom this on the road and just kind of like half joking at how fun it would be and then like it's actually really starting to grow and it's awesome. Like we've been talking with other companies and stuff about like sweetening up the grand prize and getting some sponsors yep. in there. So um yeah, it's growing and it's all because of you guys. So thank you very very much. Man. Yes. It was a Last last week was pretty crazy because I feel like, um, and I could be mistaken, but there were like there weren't a lot of um, really like more popular known acts on there that had like no, I mean it was uh, they were more like unknown artists. Totally, it that wasn't like bands followers. that are yeah. Because the last couple like the winners, I feel like you know they're kind of touring acts almost where yep. they're out there and they've got fan base they've got a social media following and this one was cool yeah like you said it was just like I, I feel like 
like George Set- Setka, which was one of the finalists, like that was a full band. Straight up. Um, it's a full video. Like, yeah, I don't know what, you know, if they're out there touring and whatnot, but that was super rad. But the other three, like Fishy B and Ninja Riggs, um, that was just two dudes sitting in their bedroom. Uh, Rick Royer was just, uh, he does impressions. He just yeah. <laughs> sent in a handful of impressions. Yeah. And then uh, Olivia Malbrand was just a girl and her guitar. All right. So that being said, let's announce this week's winner of the Great American Talent Show. And it is Olivia Malbrand. Yeah. Am I saying that right? I, I think so. I'm not Malbrand or Mal, Malbrand. I like Malbrand better. Yeah. Congratulations, Olivia. Um, I knew from the moment I heard you play your song, I was like, she's going to win. Um, no, it sounds it sounds really awesome, and your your voice is really really good, and yeah, it sounds like you have a lot of potential. So, it does. Should we just play the whole song? Let's play it. Here we go. Play the song, start to finish. Olivia Marbrand with her song Mirror. Here we go. folks God, that is a nice song and that Beautiful. is a very nice voice good job Beautiful. on that one and you. you know what good job to all the other contestants as well we really appreciate you guys sending in your submissions rick royer fishy b and ninja Riggs, and uh george setka yep absolutely so, you, you guys you know, are great thank you thank you guys so much again for being a part of it thanks and to everyone else be, as well 
Yeah, everyone else that was on the last episode too, man. We really appreciate it. And if you guys want to be in the next contest, we've said it before, but we're going to say it again. Send in your submissions to the Rome and Duddy Show at gmail.com. We want to hear them. We want to play them on the show. And we want people to vote on who's the best. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. It's putting people on. Yeah. I love it. Let's do it. Um, all right. Let's just, we're going to enter a ham- handful of. Uh, Q and A questions, and then we're going to get up out of here. So thank you guys again uh, for for that. Uh, all your submissions. Boom. What do we got next? Um, I think this was a really great question that I saw here. Uh, this is from Cassie Quimiro. Uh, this could be my chance, but how do you know it's your chance? That's oh, never mind. That's not a what? real question at all. Never mind. Somebody was asking, how do you know when to go for it? When, when do you know to, to, you know, quit your job and focus on this? Or when do you know to move out of your house and go move across the country or something like, you know? And my, my answer for that would be, um, honestly, like, you know, like, when, when you're just over whatever you're doing, when you just had enough, like, th- like the only reasonable thing... Uh, at least in my instance, like, um, I was just so over living, you know, where I was living up in Northern California and doing the same shit every day, smoking weed, hanging out with my friends, selling weed, getting fucked up, start, you know, being broke, like not taking my music serious. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to pack my bags and I'm going to head down to LA where I don't know anybody. And it's going to force me to just get my shit and just, you know, take the step and just do music. So I think, yeah, for for at least for me, like it was just that boiling point where I was like, it's now or never. I'd rather just, you know, die trying than sitting there wondering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like uh I think another, you know, instance too is just you know if you've got something good. Yeah. You know? You know if you have just got something and and you just gotta go do it. You know, People like you, tell you, you know when you got something special. People yeah. People tell you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you got something, you can't let something like that go to waste. You just got to you got to go do your thing. You know, that's a really that's a really good point. Like, don't let it go to waste the word waste, because it is like you do have these opportunities sometimes or these moments in your life where, you know, as you get older, time gets more and more, um, you know, strenuous and you don't have as much of it to to your disposal so yep. you, you take advantage of those younger years and just you know fucking go for the gold man absolutely uh this one comes from oh i'm gonna totally mess this name up uh moundy l moundy l <laughs> moundy L. I for sure messed that up that is for sure messed up Dude, poor i did not do it on right purpose <laughs> uh, this is for both of you do you ever see your bands hosting a cruise like 311 or a destination type thing like closer to the sun um possibly a destination thing but i don't think i'll do a cruise again i don't think i'll be one and something like that i'm not a cruise, I'm not a guy. cruise guy i'm not yeah, a cruise okay. guy okay same i'm like i don't even like to do that for fun no so like like i would never go on a cruise for a vacation like god no bro god no like i like being on the ground i like or, you know, just like, I don't, I don't like being on a ship out in the middle of the fucking ocean for like weeks. I'm good on that. I just don't like uh, not being able to leave. Like, if that I want to go, I want to go. Especially if I don't right be now. There, eh, I don't want to fucking be there. Do you hear about and, all those uh, cruise ships all just being held, like, just sitting oh on the side of the cities because they, like, they won't even be let nightmare. in? That's <laughs> my nightmare. That's my nightmare. so scary. So They're scary. out of booze and shit, and you're just like, what do I do? What oh, do I do now? Oh, my God. Of course they thought that. <laughs> it's true though man what are you gonna do well i mean if you're stuck on a cruise ship the only oh, thing you want to do is get you're high drinking and get some booze yeah sure. that's all that's the only thing that's gonna get get you through it and then Amen. you gotta go walk through the buffet line <laughs> the buffet line um let's see here uh michelle ann says favorite gas station snack that's Ooh. a fun one. Ooh. Dude, you know what is a sleeper? That every time I get this, you know, I'll, I'll fucking share because I'm a sharing kind of guy and everyone goes, damn. 
Why do I never get these? Muddy Buddies. What the hell? Chex Muddy Buddies. Dude, Chex oh, Muddy I I Buddies. Know. I think I've seen those. Those are those. Bro, Chex ever... Muddy Buddies are the undercover. Oh, the white ones. Yes, heater. Yeah. yeah why are and they white? Because they're covered in powder. Seen, where have you seen white mud? It's. That's a good point. It's fucking but... stumped. <laughs> I just stumped, Daddy B. You just saw that. You just saw that. He's like. Ooh, ooh. There's no white mud in this world. I demand dude. a re- rebrand. I demand a re- rebrand. Nah, dude, they're muddy buddies. They're, they they're, should be called they're brown under there. There's some brown under there. They should be called like s- snow, snow daddies. Snow daddies or snow bobos. Snow bobos? Yeah. I like snow bobos. <laughs> snow bobos. But check it out. I want you guys to to try this, okay? Next time you see. Checks muddy buddies. I want you to grab a pack. And this is the thing that's weird. Tag Duddy B. Next time you tag see me in that shit. Eat that shit. Him. And I want you to tell me if I'm lying. Eat that you. shit. You're gonna you're gonna get it in the dry section, not in the in the fridge. Facts. You're gonna get in the dry section near the cheese its and the checks mix and all that stuff. That's where you're gonna find these. But why? Why when you open them and eat them? Why are they cold? They're cold. <laughs> It's so weird. You're like, they're delicious. They're kind of cold. And you're like, I don't know. I don't um, know. Preservatives. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Okay, oh, let's do one more question. Um, let's see here. Make it a um, good one. Um, What's the story behind someone saying, take my pants off at the beginning of Crowbar Hotel? Oh, that's... I'm. Um, pretty sure that i'm like 95 percent sure that's john john it is john john um <laughs> what nothing when we were there's really not a huge story behind it we recorded a handful of the songs on supermoon that album we recorded them live like all just sitting in in the room together with the mics and everything and we would just go go and we would dave cobb do style the whole song dave cobb yep. style vocals and everything boom live and we did that that was crowbar they said right yeah that's yeah. right before we we had played it one, a couple times and like these are the first times really we wrote these songs you know and then we're now we're playing them they're all together and it's like the first time we're really like hearing these songs and we were like damn we're loving this song we played it a few times we were just having so much fun and i think john john like said something just like oh man this, this makes me want to take my pants off or something you know? <laughs> and <laughs> and we just sticks, left it in there that's what and we just left it in there yeah and we were just having so much fun recording that track happy mistakes um, man gotta love them you got to love them no <laughs> all right but before you go will you answer this from jason held which is worse getting dirty bong water in your mouth or accidentally drinking sour milk dude sour milk yeah you know what all fucking well, day. I haven't. I can't even remember the last time I drank sour milk. Though. Same. I don't. I even can't drink even remember. Milk, really. But I can remember the last time like you. You hit a bong though, and there's like a little too much water in it, and it gets you like ooh. Mm-hmm. That, that, that sucks. That, that, Actually, uh, not too long ago, I was picking up my daughter Daisy, and she spit up a little bit in my mouth. Ooh, that was pretty sour. That was yeah, that's gross. That's gross. Yeah. We'll we'll end it there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 13, you guys. Thank you for an amazing, amazing um, you know, experience and, and time doing this. We we love doing this. It's always fun what we're going to talk about and all the talent we get. So, yeah, thank you guys for always a great time. Make sure to send your submissions to the Roman Duddy Show at gmail.com and um yeah, man. Save the date. March 1st, you guys. March 1st. March we'll drop in that limited edition box. We will give you guys some more info. Go over to the Facebook page, The Roman Duddy Show on Facebook. You can download the beat of the week. You cannot wait to hear your submissions. And yeah, uh, yeah we'll, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>